race for the White House now. It's your voice and your vote. And a lot of eyes, including yours, were on the political world, the Iowa State Fair this weekend. Hillary Clinton was there, as was the Donald, who had a rock star entrance via helicopter and a rock star reception. ABC's Devin Dwyer is there. And Devin, there's no denying the Donald stole the show yet again. Hey, good morning, Paula. It was a surreal political spectacle as Hillary Clinton navigated the cattle and corn dog stands. Donald Trump circled the state fair in his private helicopter, something unlike many Iowans have ever seen before. The presidential front runners took the famous fair by storm. Republican Donald Trump arriving from the sky. The only presidential candidate to arrive in a helicopter. I love children. I love Iowa. Great place. The billionaire businessman diving right into immigration. We're building a wall. Nobody's going through my wall. And in true Trump fashion, boasting of his front runner campaign. I don't think I've made mistakes. I mean, every time somebody says I made a mistake, they do the polls and my numbers go up. So I guess I haven't made any mistake. The Trump tour becoming a major attraction. I'm going to ride on Trump's helicopter. From chopper rides for kids to the fair's claims to fame. It's unbelievable. Nobody can handle Donald Trump's tsunami. Trump sampled the pork and stopped by the butter cow, which tweeted, I cannot be trumped. All these people are definitely all here to see me. There's the cow. The Democratic frontrunner saying hello to the cow, too. Hillary Clinton never crossing paths with Trump, but creating her own waves, mingling with voters over a lemonade and pork chop. Really good. And swiping at her Republican rivals. Jeb Bush is uh, doubling down on uh, defending his brother's uh, actions in Iraq. And in the front runner's shadow, those nipping at their heels. Bernie Sanders drawing a huge crowd at the famous soapbox. And I apologize, we left the helicopter at home. <laughs> and front runners Clinton and Trump each spent about an hour here at the fair before fleeing Iowa. Hillary Clinton going to Martha's Vineyard for a private party overnight. Donald Trump back to New York City, where tomorrow he has jury duty. Dan and Paula. Oh, uh, I wonder if he'll be accepted for the jury. Not, not a disruption at all. Uh, Devin, thank you. Uh, ABC's Martha Raddatz was actually on the chopper with the Donald as he landed at the state fair. Here's a snippet of their conversation. You don't think this is a little much? No. It's very Trump, right? Yeah, it's me. I am who I am. It's me. It's good for the kids. The kids love it. All right, Martha is on the fairgrounds in Iowa right now, where she will be hosting this week later this morning. Martha, you've been on choppers in war zones throughout the Middle East. What was it like to be on a chopper in Iowa with the Donald? Uh, very, very different than those <laughs> helicopters in the Middle East. A lot quieter, the leather seats a lot nicer. And, you know, you think plain folks here in Iowa, here at the Iowa State Fair, that's what they want. But they loved seeing that helicopter flying overhead emblazoned with Trump across it. And Donald Trump loved it as well. And I have to say, those little kids who were in the helicopter were absolutely thrilled. So much has been made of Trump's controversial comments about immigrants, about women. He talked a little bit about, uh, about this in his press conference. We just heard it in Devin's piece. Did any of that, any of the controversy, seem to impact his reception at the state fair at all? You know, Dan, I asked again and again Trump supporters whether they wanted to hear more about policy, whether they didn't like the way he was talking and so outspoken and calling people names. Everybody said, that's what we like about him. We like that plain talk. We like his brashness. We like him saying what he means. I, I'm serious. You couldn't walk around and find anybody who said, you know, I just wish he wouldn't say those terrible things. So whatever he's doing, his Trump supporters like it. And we'll see if that plain talk uh, gets him out of jury duty or into a jury uh, tomorrow. Martha, thank you. And a reminder, Martha has a big show this morning, live from the Iowa State Fairgrounds. You can see much more of her interview with Donald Trump and several other Republican candidates. That's coming up on this week, later this morning, right here on ABC.